evening. Janice Winward here with Midnight Arts. Um, I have a, a Dollar Rowney uh, panel here, canvas panel here, and um, I am going to attempt to do a mallet smash. <laughs> uh, see Anne, what you know, Anne doing them all the time. Um, I have n never, I don't know how to do it, except I'm just going to try to do it. I picked up this mallet when I got paid last um, at the dollar store, so it only cost me a dollar, which, which was good. So, um, uh, start out with some white here. She puts her white on and then she pours most of it off. Her white is so thin so uh, that it just runs right off. So I don't know if mine is quite that thin. She thins it with water and I don't do, do any water in any of my paints. Okay. I should have um, some cups under this maybe, but I just didn't know how um, <laughs> how I was going to smash it with a mallet if I would have it sitting up on cups. So maybe I should have done just on a regular canvas so I could have it on. Um, thumbtacks or push pins, I guess is what they call them these days. Push pins. Oops. Oh dear. Well, maybe I'll pour some of that off. Let's see. Get it over to the edges. Well, I guess I don't won't need to push any for any back in. A little bit more down on this end and get it all the way to the corners and off the edges. bubbles in it. So I'm going to use my heat gun. Pop some of those bubbles. That white does not have any silicone in it. It is just um, semi-gloss house paint mixed with float crawl and bare concrete stain. of air bubbles in it. Of course, if I smash it with the hammer, I 
probably smash some of those bubbles. Okay. Let's put some gold in here. I don't like um, quite as much white space as what Anne loves in her paintings. Um, that pretty blue that I like. Oh, not that one. a little bit too much. Oh dear, here we go. Let's see, she just, oh, I stuck my finger right in my paint. All right, she just goes. Oh, I think that my mallet is a little too rounded. <laughs> Pretty square.
I like this corner up here with just that faint little thing in there. I like that one. I don't know, that's not moving very much. I don't know, I kind of like this down here, too. But I like... Well, it looks nothing like Anne's, but then like I said, I don't like all the white space like she does. She likes the white space in there and she, you know, goes after it and and her paintings are beautiful. Um, I would, I don't care for the, as much white space as that, so I'm thinking it's looking kind of good. If I were to do it again, I probably would put one in the middle. Maybe just three around. I did six and they were pretty symmetrical and I can still see that there's... that I did six kind of in rows. I didn't try to do them in rows, but I can kind of see that that's... Um, that I did do it that way. So, maybe if I tried it again... I would try even more to do them a little bit less symmetrical. <laughs> I think that's good. I probably shouldn't have hit that, that one again. It had that beautiful green metallic in there, but there was a big patch of it there that I kind of wanted to break up, but uh, no, I don't know. And it's filling in pretty good. Filling in where I hit it pretty good. So, I think that's good. I think that's good. I think I'm going to leave it that way. Don't like to do a whole lot of fiddling with stuff. It's quite different over on this side than it is up there, but you know, I like, oh, I like this kind of lacy stuff that's up in here. Let me see. Let me try it. Use it on a heat gun. I don't know that I put any colors in there that really had silicone in them. wrap this one up. That one, I, I think I'm satisfied with it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so I think we'll wrap this one up and hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you come back and watch all of my videos and I will see you next time. <music>